So we're going to write our equation for the degree 4 polynomial. And we have some x-intercepts, also known as zeros, right there. And let's write them out. x equals negative 4, x equals negative 3, x equals 2, x equals 3. There's another obvious point on the graph. I'm going to write this separately. So these are all x-intercepts. Our x-intercepts are going to correspond to factors. Uh, let's go ahead and write those out now. And your x-intercept is always going to be x equals a number. I'll just use the number a. And the factor looks like x minus a. And it could be raised to the n to the n power, like that. All right, if it crosses, it's going to be odd. And if it bounces, that's even. And a bounce can either look like that or like that. Cross, there's several ways it could look. It could look like that or that. It can also flatten out. And if it flattens out, it's going to have uh, multiplicity 3. If it crosses through without flattening out, it's going to have order 1. And bounce always going to, well, they're always going to be even. All the questions you have are always going to be 2. All right, so we got x-intercept negative 4. So the factor is going to be x minus negative 4. And these are all crossing right here. None of them flatten out, and definitely none of them bounce. So these are going to be all raised to the first power. We don't have to write that, but minus a negative is plus. And here we have the same thing, x minus a negative 3. You can add another parenthesis in if you want. So that's x plus 3. Next up, x minus 2. There's not, nothing to do there. And next one, x minus 3. So what do you do with factors? You multiply them together. So our polynomial I'll write as p of x. Now there can be one hidden factor. Well, it's not really hidden, but one constant factor. I'll use the letter a. And we're going to write our factors here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to write them all multiplied here. And we'll go, we'll start at the top. x plus 4, x plus 3, x minus 2, x minus... These are also the first powers. So you don't have to write that in. Okay, what about that y-intercept? So any other point will be enough to figure out a. So we're trying to figure out what a is. Our y-intercept, what that means is p of 0. When you plug in 0 for x, you get out negative 3 for y. So p of 0 equals 3. So we're going to plug that in now. So p of 0 is 3. It's also all of this, except wherever you see x, there's four places, you're going to plug in 0. So we got 0 plus 4, 0 plus 3, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 3. OK, so let's multiply both sides by 1 third. So that'll be 1 equals, basically those 3's cancel, uh, a times, negatives cancel, so it's a times 6, 1 6 equals a. Uh, and if you're wondering how do these 3's cancel, you just multiply the whole equation by 1 third, and that will cancel them on both sides. So this will be our polynomial right here. Of course, that uh, you need to plug in that 1 6 now that you know the number. That goes right up here. And that's your uh, y function right there.